Hey guys, today we're in central London in front of Harris to answer the most important question in men's perfumery. Is Creed Aventus in today's formulation still worth buying? We're going to go inside and get us a fresh bottle. I've forgotten my microphone today, so hopefully editing Unicorn will sync up the audio and visuals. Let's go inside. Okay, we're going in. Okay guys, I've got it. 2020, so, sorry, we're recording a video. We've got a 2021 bottle of Creed Aventus. Hey with the new batch code. I pray for me. Sorry. Okay. Creed Aventus. I've been avoiding buying this for a long time as a reviewer because I personally think it's overpriced and reformulated far too much. The scent isn't the same. It doesn't last as much as it used to. Uh, I actually sprayed it on my uh, cameraman today. Kelvin, what do you think of Creed Aventus? It doesn't smell good. No. It smells soapy. Yeah, a lot of people don't like Creed Aventus actually. <laughs> it's quite surprising. I think it's usually men usually do like it the most more than women however we're going to put that to the test we're mainly going to ask women today what they think of the different adventist clones available there's obviously hundreds now available i'm going to do an interesting comparison between this original creed adventus there we go you can see it it was in the cellophane one of the new batches that comes cellophane wrapped you go from harrow's you know it's legitimate it's a fresh 2022 bottle of creed adventus wow Finally got this in my collection, guys. I also had to repurchase Montblanc Explorer. I'm going to use that as the cheap clone comparison today because it's significantly different. I could have used Club de Nuit, but I feel like when doing public reactions, everyone would just say, oh, these are all just the same fragrance. It could be an interesting test, but I think we need some difference between the, the, the tester strips. So Montblanc Explorer slightly goes in a more safe direction, softer projection, uh, it's more woody. Well, get this out the bag. And we got Cedra Boise, which is Mancera's take on the Aventus DNA. Again, not necessarily a clone. So what is the Aventus DNA? It is fruity pineapple with fresh citrus and smoky birch wood. So Mont Blanc Explorer goes more in the woody direction. Cedra Boise replaces the pineapple with blackcurrant and it goes for a leather smokiness instead of the birch wood. I think Cedra Boise will actually win this test today, but we'll see. Is Creed Aventus still worth buying? If it wins today's battle, then maybe it still stands the test of time and it's still worth getting in 2022. Let's go ask the ladies. Okay guys, we have three uh, scent strips here. If you take all three and just go through each one. Ooh, that's actually really nice. I quite like A. You like A the most? Yeah. Okay, and if you try it as well. The same to me. If you had to choose one, which one would if you I say the best? Right, C, like that's completely random. <laughs> <laughs> completely random, okay. Yeah. All right, fine, that's, that's, that's very good. Um, they actually do smell similar, that's the whole point of the video, but they're, they're a similar scent profile, but at different price ranges. Okay. So, okay. but I like you chose the most expensive one. Which well, some, I'd say expensive. Yeah. <laughs> you said before this video started that you have an account, yeah, an art I have account. Yeah, I an art Instagram, follow me. <laughs> it's um, parisa.drawing um, and I paint for my Indian heritage. Just smell each one and tell me which one do you like the most. This is serious. Yeah, I like that. Very professional. The one in the middle? Okay, do you want to pass it to your friend over there? You like the middle one. Are you ju you're like judging her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I think I like that one. First okay, pass it on. This one. Okay, you've all chosen different answers. Yeah. So the idea is, have you guys heard of Creed Aventus? No. It's, it's, a, it's one of the most popular men's fragrances, but it's very expensive. So a lot of other companies try to copy it. And we're trying to see, is it worth spending £300 on a men's fragrance, essentially? Uh, so you have expensive taste. You, <laughs> so, you, so you went for the uh, Creed Aventus. You went for the affordable Mont Blanc Explorer and you went for a French, the French house, Cerro de Boise, which is in the middle. I'm French. That's You're French. French, that's why. <laughs> French always have the best taste in, perfu in perfumes, that's the thing. There you are. Thank you. This is our microphone today. Mm -hmm. Very nice, I like 
like C the most. Yeah. What makes you like this fragrance so much? C. Um, I think I feel like the other ones. I, I feel like I smelled them before, but this yeah. one is very unique. That's right. Yeah, they're very they're very common fragrances. Well, this is more like original and French. Um, so yeah, so it's one of the, one of these is three hundred pounds. So we're asking the question: <laughs> Is there any point spending three hundred pounds on a fragrance? Essentially, probably not. Probably. <laughs> there we are. There you go. Okay. If you take all three of them at the same time right. and smell each one and tell us which one you like the most. Okay. C, I think. C, okay. Yeah. Good. What would you give it out of 10? An 8. 8 out of 10. So the middle one I like the least. Um, yeah, Aventus, you do like yeah, the least. Yeah, I thought this one is the heaviest one. I was considering those two between like between those two, which one is the best. But... So you actually thought that the, the 30 pounds and the 70 pounds fragrance was better than the 300 pounds yeah, fragrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. So why are men, this is a very popular <laughs> phrase, why are men wasting their money? I don't know, because I would definitely prefer guys with those cheaper ones. So. You know what, a lot of people say this middle expensive one, Aventus, it's not a fragrance you wear to be impressive to women, you wear it to be impressive to other men. Because yeah. definitely I, I did not enjoy that, so you know, maybe I like something that I would wear more, so that's why I preferred those too, but yeah, definitely would not have been my choice, like for my boyfriend or anything, so. Mm. If you want to attract other men, <laughs> you go for Creed Aventus. <laughs> Otherwise, you go for Cedra Boise. Okay, so we have two <laughs> French <laughs> nationals who, are very you say you have very high standards of perfumes mm -hmm. so let's see what you guys think of these c for me you like c yeah it's like fruity i like it oh yeah for sure c you're not just saying that because she said it i hadn't smelled this one okay no this one i don't like a yeah. sorry you don't like it <laughs> i don't know it's your favorite but yeah, no it's good for me. and so the, the the idea of this video is a is green aventus which is like a 300 pounds fragrance Okay. Yeah. And you don't like it? No. Nope. Uh, it's, it's one of the most popular men's fragrances ever made. Okay. But, but we always say on our channel that guys like it more than girls do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And you're both French. Yeah. So your opinion is fact, basically. It's <laughs> fact. It's just fact. You guys both give Cedra Boise out of 10. Mm, maybe a seven. 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 Yeah. It's quite, still quite low, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah. no. I like it, nine. Nine, mm. oh, amazing, wow. Okay guys, so you can take all three at the same time and just uh, smell okay. each one. E. You like E the most? Like e the most. That's a good step Okay. Oh shit, I can't, sorry, my life's sweat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be also fine. Also E. Don't, don't feel peer pressured. <laughs> it's hard. It is hard. Yeah. I think I like A the best. A! Hey. That's my second option. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks like you put it right. No. <laughs> yes, guys. You're. Yeah. Sorry. There's no opinions here. It's actually a, a right answer and a wrong answer. <laughs> it just goes to show you don't have to spend too much money on these things. Less learned. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'll pass you these three paper strips all at the same time. Uh, these two are similar to. Yeah. This one different. Okay. Which one would you say is your favorite? This one's stronger. So I choose this one. C, okay, okay, yeah. good, good. And if you pass them all to... All right. Definitely, I'll go, I would go with C. C, so, oh yeah. my God. But probably, this is a recent, you spread this recently. These no, are yeah, no, no, you know what? A lot of people just say C is just a stronger fragrance in general. Yeah. It's a uh, stain there. Uh, I would say C, A. C is a tense. Uh, C, then A. Then A. Okay. A, A is Creed Aventus. Okay, oh. there we go. So for that and reason, C? it's not... C thin. is a uh, Mancera Cedrat Boise. Our theory. So, so you like fragrances because you were, cause you were, he was looking through our channel just now. You were criticizing all my thumbnails. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what, what's your like your favorite brand? Uh, I would say for me definitely uh, Wood Wood. Uh, wood Wood by yeah. Tomfort. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. And uh, the recent uh, uh, launched uh, the Melfi. Uh, oh, Fico, uh, Amalfi Coast by, yeah, by yeah, Tom Ford. Right, and uh, probably comes after Jamlon, uh, Belvi and Oud. Um, Joe Malone, okay, Joe yeah, Malone, nice yeah. one, nice, nice, nice. Right. Do you think it's ever worth spending three hundred pounds on a fragrance? And which one would you say is worth that much money? Uh, I would say, I would say, uh, Prompton Ex Nihilo. Ex Nihilo, from I've heard of that brand. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's exclusive, exclusive to Harrods. Oh, uh, my man does well for himself. He goes to Harrods. Mm. Of course. 
dollars. Yeah, nice. What would you uh, say it's worth three hundred pounds? Penhaligans, maybe. Penhaligans. Yeah, Constance, the new one, I think. Constance, yeah, yeah. Lady Constance, isn't and it? And yeah. Dr. Sam, I, I, as well. Yeah, good, yeah. great choices, yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, it's been a tiring day, but it's been very educational. We've got a variety of opinions. Okay, mainly hot girls, but we have a few male opinions as well. I wanted to get a dad in, in this video as well to see what they think of Creed Aventus. I think this is probably a massive waste of money, and I think I've just wasted 300 pounds on this. Uh, I think Cedra Boise is the winner of today, and some people actually preferred Explorer uh, to Aventus. So, yeah, I definitely think it's not worth the money, guys. I think that's the conclusion of today's video. But hey, maybe some of you guys in the comments disagree. Let us know in the comments down below. Do you still think Aventus is worth buying? Thank you for watching our video. Make sure to check out our other public reactions video uh, up here. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.